You're watching WMAR 2 News. 112 more patients are in the hospital because of the coronavirus and the state's positivity rate is now above 17 percent. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update. In all, more than 1800 Marylanders now need COVID related medical care. It's near the highest that we've ever seen during the pandemic. 354 of those patients are in intensive care, which is a slight increase from yesterday. Our positivity rate, it jumped more than a full percent just in the last 24 hours, so we're now above 17 and a half percent. More than 6,500 Marylanders have also tested positive for the coronavirus in the last day or so. And our rising metrics have at least two area hospitals moving into crisis standards of care. Upper Chesapeake Hospital in Bel Air has seen a 733% increase in COVID patients just over the last month. So they're now delaying dozens of elective surgeries like knee and hip replacements to try to free up bed space for COVID patients. And they are still seeing patients who are having problems like heart attacks or strokes, but those folks might have to wait longer in the hospital. Also, the Baltimore Washington Medical Center is moving into crisis standards of care, just like Upper Chesapeake. Some elective surgeries are being delayed, as well as redeploying staff to areas of need. The hospital's president says, quote, unfortunately, we are just at the beginning of this surge. The weeks ahead will only become more challenging. This is the right step to support our teams and to serve the many patients in our community who rely on us and trust us with their care. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Tuesday, Maryland. Clouds will be the name of the game today, and I'm also tracking above normal temperatures. Temperatures are going to stay well above normal, not just for today, but throughout the next few days, and even rain chances linger as well. So looking at your three-day snapshot, we're going to keep that cloudiness around throughout the day. Temperatures top out right around 56 degrees. We stay mainly dry throughout your Tuesday. Wednesday, we're going to welcome a few more isolated showers through the afternoon and then dealing with a better dose of rain overnight into Thursday. But for both Wednesday and Thursday, temperatures are going to be above normal well into the 50s, actually closing in on that 60 degree mark, staying dry as we wrap up 2021 heading into the start of 2022. It's going to be off to a milder note with rain chances with highs in the lower 60s. All right, Stevie, thank you and stay with us at WMAR2news.com for updates to stories throughout the day and for your news and weather while you're on the go. You can get the WMAR2 News app in your phone's app store. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.